Hi all, let's solve some questions on associative and commutative property. Let's solve this question. Give an operation which is associative and commutative. So which operation is both associative and commutative? So many operations you can give. For example, you can give addition operation. You can give multiplication operation. These are associative and commutative. For example, in propositional logic. So these operations you can give from number theory. Addition, comma, multiplication. So these operations from number theory you can give. Or, or you can give like from propositional logic, I can say conjunction, disjunction, okay, exclusive or exclusive or by implication. So these operations are also, these, these are from propositional logic. From propositional logic, these operations are also associative, comma, commutative. And also you can give union, intersection, these operations and also symmetric difference and also symmetric difference. So these operations from set theory these operations from set theory these are also associative and commutative so these are the examples of operations which are both associative and commutative now let's see the next question give an operation which is associative but not commutative it should be associative but this should not be commutative so what is the answer for example i can say matrix multiplication so i can say matrix multiplication this matrix multiplication this matrix multiplication is associative but this is not commutative okay so this you will study in the linear algebra in the linear algebra you will see that matrix multiplication is associative but this is not a commutative so i can say if you have two if you have three matrices a b c then if you have these are the matrices then i can say this is equal to this okay so because matrix multiplication is associative but matrix multiplication is not commutative means okay b a and a b they can be different so this is the example of operation which is associative but not commutative another example okay uh, so you can give another example for example on set of natural number if you if you define this new operation let me define this new operation and that is like uh, a star b is equal to a this operation i am defining you can notice this operation is also not commutative but this is associative okay so for any two elements a star b uh, a comma b a star b will be equal to a this operation this operation is clearly associative but this is not a commutative another operation you can define on set of integers you can define a new operation and this new operation is like this a star b is equal to max of a comma b no this operation is actually commutative also okay so this is not a correct example okay i can say this this operation is definitely commutative this operation is commutative this is commutative also and this is associative also you can check okay so anyway these are the examples matrix multiplication this is associative but not commutative and i can say this this example this operation this is associative but not commutative another example you can take is a function composition another example you can take is function composition this function composition this is also associative but this is not a uh, commutative so i can say this f o g o h okay so this is actually equal to f o g o h in the function we have already seen this in the function chapter i told you that function composition is associative but this is not commutative this function composition okay so i can say f o g that is not same as g o f so this function composition matrix multiplication and this these are the examples of associative but not commutative now let's see commutative but not associative can you think about it some operation which is commutative but this should not be associative so one answer is this okay consider this operation okay so this on on set of integers you apply this operation this is your set of integer and i am defining this operation and i am defining this operation as x star y is equal to x y plus 1 you can check this operation is commutative why this is commutative because x star y that is exactly equal to y star x what is x star y x star y is x y plus 1 that is x y plus 1 and this is same as y star x y star x is y x plus 1 so both are same so this is commutative this operation is definitely commutative but this is not associative for associative what we need to do remember set of integers and this operation you are defining and you are saying that a star b is equal to a b plus 1 now let's check is this operation commit uh, is this operation associative for associative you need to do this a star b this is your operation so i can say a star b star c okay can I say that this and this are the same? Are the same or different? Let us check. Are the same or different? This is what you need to check. So what is A star B? A star B is AB plus 1. Okay. And that will be star C. 
now what is this now this is your this is your x this is your y so what is there you start that will be multiplication of these a b plus 1 multiplied by c plus 1 because remember x star y is equal to okay remember this point x star y that is equal to if you have x if you have y then that is equal to x y plus 1 so i can say this is your x this is your y so it will be a b plus 1 multiplied by c plus 1 okay and what is this this is a b c plus 1 okay and finally what it will become now this is your x this is your y so it will become a multiplied by bc plus 1 plus 1 okay now check are they same are they same they are definitely not same they are definitely different because this will be abc plus c plus 1 and this is not same as abc plus a plus 1 so if a comma c are different if you take a comma c as different then definitely this uh, these two will be different this will be different from this if you take a, a is different from c so i can say this is not associative this is example of commutative but not associative very simple example another example you can take is nand operator this nand is commutative but not associative in propositional logic in propositional logic you can calculate this a nand a nand b this expression is not same as this expression so you can check so this nand is commutative this is commutative because a nand b if you take a nand b this is the this is the symbol for nand this is the symbol for nand so a nand b what is that that is equal to a and b negation and okay so b nand a b nand a that is also b and a negation so you can notice this is same as this both are same and this is same as a nand b so this nand is commutative this and this they are same so nand is commutative but nand is not associative from this table you can check so this is another example of commutative but not associative another example you can take a set of integer and you can take x star y equal to minus x minus y this operation this operation is also commutative but this is not associative you can notice clearly this is commutative because if you take any two numbers what is x star y x star y is minus x minus y and what is y star x that is equal to minus y minus x so both are same so i can say this is definitely commutative and you can check this is not associative this operation this operation is not associative so this is another example you can take more examples you can try for example this example on set of natural numbers this example on set of uh, i can say for example okay this this example on set of rational numbers this on uh, set of rational numbers so you can just check this operation is also these are commutative but not associative both of them are commutative on set of rational number and both of them are associative remember on set of rational number sorry on set of uh, natural number if i define this operation like a star b is equal to a plus b by 2 then this is not closed you cannot this operas this is not a binary operation so because this is not closed why this is not closed because if you take for example if you take a equal to 1 and if you take b equal to 2 then what will be a star b a star b will be 1 plus 2 divided by 2 that will be 3 by 2 and this is not a natural number so i can say this is not binary this is not a binary operation this is not a binary operation on set of natural number on set of natural number because it is not closed the closure property is not satisfied okay but on the set of rational number this is closed so this is closed closure property is satisfied this is also closed on set of a race uh, okay this is actually not closed on set of rational number okay so you should take a real numbers you should take real number because remember this is not closed on set of re rational number i can say this on set of rational number if you define this operation a star b equal to square root of a b then again this is not closed again this is a not closed why this is not closed this is not closed because if you take for example for example if you take a equal to 1 and you take b equal to 2 then what will be a star b that will be square root of 2 and that is not a rational number so this is not closed so i can say this is not a binary operation i can say this is not a binary operation on set of rational number okay on set of rational number so i can say that okay this is a binary operation on set of rational number but this is not a binary operation on set of rational number so i can say this you can have remember this you can have and this you can have and you can check that these are commutative but these are not associative you can just check them another example is this given operation which is commutative but not associative another example is x star y equal to on set of integers this is also commutative but this is not associative 
why this is commutative because for any two numbers this is commutative for any two numbers x star y that will be x minus y modulus and y star x that will be y minus x modulus and these are basically same because this is your modulus function this is your absolute value function so this will make everything positive okay so for example if you take x equal to 2 y equal to 3 then you can notice that 2 minus 3 modulus that will be 1 and 3 minus 2 modulus that also will be 1 okay because it will make everything positive so this is associative uh, sorry this is commutative this operation is definitely this operation is definitely commutative but this is not associative okay on set of integers if i define this operation and the operation i am defining like x star y equal to modulus of x minus y this is not associative because if you take for example 2 3 4 okay so let me take 2 3 4 then then you apply this operation you apply this operation so can i say this is same as this let us check are they same are they equal so what is this this is a okay what is this this is 2 minus 3 modulus so this will be modulus 2 minus 3 okay this will be this and you know 2 minus 3 modulus what is that that is basically 1 so i can say 1 uh, 1 star 4 what is 1 star 4 that is modulus of 1 minus 4 and that will be 3 so your lhs is 3 now what is rhs what is this expression this is a 1 okay this is 1 so what is 2 star 1 what is 2 star 1 so that will be 2 minus 1 modulus that is 1 you can clearly see these are different okay so i can say that this and this they are different they are different and because they are different so i can say this is this is not associative so this is another example this is another example of a so commutative but not associative very simple give an operation which is neither associative nor commutative many operations you can give for example i can say that this subtraction this division these are neither associative nor commutative so these examples you can give from number theory from number theory you can give these examples and i can also give you for example implication in propositional logic in propositional logic this implication this is neither associative nor commutative so this is an example from uh, this is propositional logic another example is set difference this is set difference this set difference this is from set theory this operation is also neither commutative nor associative so these are the examples okay let's see this question whether the statement is an example of commutative associative identity inverse distributive okay so this is the example so tell me which property is applied here so we have basically minus 6 plus 14 plus 13 is equal to this so which property is there which property we have applied so this is basically the commutative property so the answer will be commutative property because what we are doing in the commutative property we do that if you have this a star b this is equal to b star a this is what we do in commutative property and you can notice here we are doing the commutative property because you have minus 6 plus this okay so for for a moment what you can do just consider this as b okay just consider this as b okay and let's consider this minus 6 as a now what we have if you consider this minus 6 as a and you consider this as b then we have this okay this will become a plus b and this will become b plus a and this is basically your commutative property so this is the example this is the example of commutative property next what is happening here x plus y plus 12 that is equal to x plus y plus 12 this is your this is your associative property of addition so i can say this will be the associative property of addition so this is the answer next which property we are using here okay so because you are doing here here you are doing x plus 9 equal to 9 plus x so this x plus 9 you are saying that you are saying that x plus 9 9 plus x you are saying that this expression is this expression basically if you change this to this then no change will happen so this is your associative property of addition so here the answer will be uh, sorry this is commutative property of addition so i can say this will be commutative property of addition because what you are saying you are saying that if you do x plus 9 if you do 9 plus x okay this result and this result will be same so this is your commutative property of addition let's see this one what is the answer so you are saying that y plus z plus 6 that is equal to 6 plus y plus z this is your commutative property okay so for this question answer will be commutative property both because what you can say so for a moment just consider the y plus z as some a okay and you consider this as some b so what this becomes so this lhs what this lhs will become this will become a plus b and this rhs will become b plus a this lhs will become a plus b 
and this RHS will become B plus A. So this is your commutative property. Okay. 